If you want to write a book and become a best-selling author, you're in the right place. At Elite Online Publishing, we can help you create, publish, and market your book so that it becomes a number one bestseller. We work with a limited number of authors to ensure that they receive the best possible service. So if you want to learn how to write and publish a book that will empower you to smartly grow your brand, business, and credibility, apply today. We look forward to working with you. Hey, 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 everyone. It's Elite Online Publishing with Melanie Johnson and Jen Foster here. Hope you're having a super, super great day. Hey, Jen. Hey, everyone. We're so excited to tell you about some publishing stuff today. Oh, yeah. So we get questions all the time. What's the difference between traditional publishing, hybrid publishing, self-publishing, and do-it-yourself publishing? So four <laughs> different things. So do it yourself. Obviously, you're doing everything yourself. I like to equate it to you want to build a house or you're remodeling, say, your bathroom. Um, that's like you're figuring out how to lay the tile. You're figuring out how to rework the plumbing. You're figuring out how to do all the little stuff. And when something goes wrong, you're figuring out how to fix it. <laughs> yeah, you're like, okay, the water is sprouting out everywhere. Right. And it's not working. I don't know about you. I'm just not that kind of person. So if you're not that kind of person, then you probably want to work with us. So I'm not a do-it-yourself gal when it comes to big projects like that. And, and having a book is a big project, right? And then the next part is really if you're a hybrid. Jen, why don't you explain hybrid publishing? Yeah, hybrid publishing, People, some people think that it is similar to traditional publishing, but the difference is they might put the copyright under your name, but they're still going to take some royalties. They might not be one of the big five traditional publishers, but you still have to pay them to publish. So they're going to take royalties. They're going to be in charge of everything. You might get, keep the copyright, but you're still sharing royalties, and that's a hybrid. You know what happens a lot of times with these hybrid publishers that we have found because we kind of get the the tragic aftermath when they've worked with a hybrid publisher is I don't have access to my account. So I can't make any changes because a lot of times what hybrid publishers are doing is they're publishing under their publishing name. So all their books are under like if it's ABC publishing, all their books are being published under ABC publishing, and then they're doing a royalty split with you. And again, you're paying them for service too. So when you self publish, when you work with a self publishing company like Elite Online Publishing, what we're doing is we're publishing under your individual name and account. We don't put books under Elite Online Publishing's KDP, Amazon account, or Ingram, Ingram account. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> that way, you own 100% of your intellectual property. You have access. You have your username and passwords. You can get in there and do anything you want, anytime that you want with your book. And hybrid publishers generally don't do that. Mm -hmm. And the other thing we found with hybrid publishers is you never see any of the royalties. They're yeah. like, oh yeah, we're going to give you royalties. And then a year later, you're like, did I get any royalties? Or you sent me $5? Do I get anything? And, and then you really have to have that trust factor with them that they are going to show you the accounting and they're going to send you monthly reports of what you're making and how many books you sold. So yeah. uh, unfortunately, some of the times the reports are wrong. So we worked yeah. with a gentleman who had a hybrid publisher and we were helping him with a bestseller campaign. And we said, how many books did they sell? And it took over a week to get the report to find out how many books were sold. And then he gave us this super high number. And we're like, there's no way because he didn't hit those numbers like when on Amazon, like we could, we would have known by his bestseller rank mm -hmm. uh, if he had sold that many books. It was like thousands of books. And I'm like, and then I saw the spreadsheet and I'm like, this spreadsheet looks like it's all of the eBooks that they have in this account, not yeah. one eBook. And then our author was like, wow, I sold all these books. And we're like, I don't think that was your book. Like the reports were wrong and everything was messed yep. up. And then we just wanted to change the price. That's all we wanted to do. And it took over two weeks for them to change the price. And then even then it took another week for Amazon to update it. Like it's just so much like handcuffs. Like you can't do things that you want to do quickly. 
So it gets really frustrating, I would mm -hmm. say. We've had, um, and I, I'm not saying that all hybrid publishers can be frustrating, but you lose some of the control and you have to wait on somebody else to do things for you if they're not action oriented. Um, and so then there's traditional publishing. Traditional publishing, a lot of you know, that's like the old school way. And again, they're going to pay you up front and everyone thinks they're going to get hundreds of thousands of dollars and they're really not. And I'm going to be real transparent here. We had an author that we worked with because they needed our marketing support and to help make it a bestseller because the traditional publisher doesn't give you marketing support. So she had been a New York Times bestselling author, not once, but twice before. And her amount in advance was 35,000. And you're thinking, oh, you think she'd be getting like a couple hundred thousand dollars. No. So only 35,000. She had published with this publishing house before and her books were out of print and they refused to do another run of her books. And she's like, but my other books should be like trending because I'm launching a new book. And they said, no, too bad. So sad. We're not going to do another print on your books. We don't want to make that investment. So again, you lose control of your intellectual property and traditional publishing houses do not promote or market your book. You're still going to have to use whatever money you get. And it could be just $5,000 to promote and market your book. Well, that's the thing that 35,000, that is supposed to be what she uses to market the book. So that's right. supposed to be for ads and, you know, all the traditional, the traditional marketing, not digital marketing. That's mm. supposed to be for traditional marketing to get the books into bookstores and to get sales and do billboards and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Right. Like that's, and, and that's not very much money to spend because I know billboards cost like 10 grand a month or something crazy. Like <laughs> it's not enough, right? 35 is not enough. So, you know, that's, that's, that's not even covered digital marketing, right? That's just supposed to be for tradition, traditional type marketing, like offline. So, and then remember too, the money that they give you goes against your royalties. So you're right. not going to get any money royalty split until they get your money back. They get their right. money back. Plus what's right. going on now in the traditional publishing industry is they're consolidating. So Random House and Simon Schuster are looking at merging together. And that's been in court for a while. I'm not sure the latest update on that far as I know it was still pending. So because they're not making money, they haven't figured out, they haven't embraced the new way of publishing. They haven't embraced the new technology. They're slow. It's kind of, I kind of equate them a little bit to Blockbuster. They're very big and, and heavy and trying to move around where a company like ours is very nimble, very innovative. Uh, Jen and I are the decision makers. We have a team, but you know we can make decisions like that. Um, so we embrace AI. We put AI into work into our company right away when it came out. We've been using new tools and we're always doing that. So, okay, now let's talk about self-publishing companies like Elite Online Publishing that Jen and I own. We're a woman-owned company founded and, and run. And actually almost everyone on our team, everyone on our team is a woman. Yeah. So just ironically, but what are the advantages of that? The advantage is you own a hundred percent of your intellectual property, which I call it like the Taylor Swift method. Now people yeah. want that. Taylor Swift doesn't want anyone to own her albums and her music. She's re-recorded all of her songs. So nobody else owns them anymore. And she's got complete control. It's not even so much a money thing with her. It's really having control of her intellectual property and not having to go through somebody else. So that's what it's like when you work with us. We are a high level concierge service. So if you're looking for high level concierge service, you're a CEO, an entrepreneur, you're a decision maker, and you want things to happen fast, and you're willing to pay for quality and speed, then you're who we want to work with. Mm -hmm. So if that's the kind of service that you're looking for in self-publishing, then you would be our client. So, and we're not for everybody because we're, we're definitely not the cheapest kids on the block. We are, we are high level and concierge service, but there are other options out there. But I think for authors today, the trend is really to go with a self-publishing company. If I had to direct someone to do it, if you're not a do-it-yourself person, then go to a company that you own all of your intellectual property, right? That you can get mass distribution that's going to make you a bestseller. People had this caveat like, well, I really want the name of that traditional publisher. Remember, Jen, like, oh, I want to have Harper Collins. It just doesn't mean anything anymore. I'm sorry. Um, having Harper Collins doesn't mean anything anymore. No. And, and if, if you go and search on amazon.com, you can search elite online publishing because we publish, we self publish your book for you 
but we are putting us as the publisher so that you do look like you have a great publisher because you do we hand hold you the whole time we walk you from start to finish and we're a little bit different than some self publishers out there because some self publishers just say I will put your book up on Amazon and you'll have an ebook and a paperback and there you go bye you know that's it <laughs> and that's not what we do so we actually publish your book in over 400 online locations so it doesn't just go to Amazon it goes to Barnes and Noble Walmart Target it goes to chapters in Canada I forgot what it's called over in Australia but all indie something anyway there's so many book bookstores and you are in all of them and the libraries so mm -hmm. we don't just publish your book on Amazon and say goodbye we also help you market the book. We also help you to know what to do with the book. And we keep, we start with that. So a lot of publishers are just like, what's your book? Let me put it up on Amazon. No, we wanna start with, what is your book gonna do for you? So let's, do we have more time? Let's dive in just a little bit, Melanie, into that, what we were talking about with. Yeah, so it's, what is the business your book is gonna support? Yeah. So we want to know, like some people are coming to us to develop their personal brand. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you might be a lawyer, but you're a group of lawyers and you need to stand out and develop your personal brand because you take that with you no matter where you go. And that's really the trend today is to have your own personal brand. But we dive into what is your business? How is the book going to support your business? How are we going to use that book for your business? It's not just about selling one book at a time on Amazon or Walmart. It's about how to sell massive amounts of books at one time, but how to use that book to get, you know, four or five, six figure clients. That's what we really want to focus on and making sure your book has that in there. So we have a lot of different strategies for that, that we walk our authors through. And not to mention, we do websites, we do social media, we do content marketing. So we have all of these tools to create the business of your book. So many authors, Jen, they, they get their books like, phew, I got my book done. Okay, check. And then they're just onto their regular life. And mm -hmm. I go, no, now the real work starts because your book now becomes a business. Yeah. It's a product that you're offering, whether it's the only product you have at the time, or it's one of many products that you have within your business. You get to use that as an advertising and marketing tool. I laugh, you know, I used to be in the TV business. We'd create a TV ad for somebody, but then like, think about old ads, even for like cereal from the 1970s or eighties, they're not running those ads anymore, but yeah. a book really is classic. And the content from it lasts for, for, for years, for decades to come. So once you create that asset, you have it for decades for your business and for you and as your credibility. Yes. And I love that your book will be available always. Like we have, we offer our authors a thumb drive of all the files. So say something does happen to Amazon in the future, you'll still have all the files so you mm -hmm. can um, print it again or put it somewhere else, whoever's the next big Amazon, right? But like Melanie was saying, that girl who's with the traditional publisher, they're just saying, oh, we're not going to print your book. So the only way she can get that message out there again is to do a second or third edition, which I don't know if she can, because she has to read the fine print of her contract. <laughs> so. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Right. <laughs> so if you're looking for a publisher, <laughs> excuse me, and you're looking for concierge service and, uh, and high level service, and you're a business owner, entrepreneur, decision maker, reach out to us at eliteonlinepublishing.com. You're the type of person that we'd like to work with. And I hope this was educational for you to understand your choices in publishing. We also have a DYI course that you can opt into if you're interested in that. And we have a lot of other resources and you can learn a ton of information just watching us on YouTube. We have so many YouTube videos that you're going to, you're like, I have no idea about publishing. I need to learn. Well, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you're going to find all kinds of information. Plus we have a, our publishing podcast as well. So uh, check us out at eliteonlinepublishing.com and have a great day, everybody. Have a great day. Bye. If you want to write a book and become a best-selling author, you're in the right place. At Elite Online Publishing, we can help you create, publish, and market your book so that it becomes a number one bestseller. We work with a limited number of authors to ensure that they receive the best possible service. So if you want to learn how to write and publish a book that will empower you to smartly grow your brand, business, and credibility, apply today. We look forward to working with you.